Hello. Well, here I am again. I want to share what this video blog is going to be about. You probably first encountered vectors in physics, where they are commonly used to describe forces. In science, a vector is an arrow with a length and a direction. You can have two-dimensional vectors which live in the plane, or three-dimensional vectors which are more appropriate for the three-dimensional space that surrounds us. Taken together, we call the collection of vectors a vector space. But you can generalize this idea and find countless other uses for vector spaces. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Stop. Go Falcon, go Dragon. Got speed, Axiom 1. I don't know if you know how many companies and organizations around the world are dealing with space or how many companies are there in the... And serving as Mission Specialist 1, Eitan Stiba will become the second Israeli ever to fly to space. In many ways, today's mission is a return to flight for the nation of Israel after the Columbia tragedy in 2003. When I was thinking about becoming a video blogger again, I needed to ask myself one big question. What am I going to talk about? What's my angle? Israel. Am I going to talk only about Israel? No, I'm not. Axiom uh, sent a bunch of people to space, including one Israeli. Eitan served for more than four decades as a fighter pilot in the Israeli Air Force, where he received the Distinguished Aviator Medal, and today he is an impact investor and philanthropist. In collaboration with the Ramon Foundation, the Israel Space Agency, and the Ministry of Innovation, Science and Technology, and the Ministry of Education, Stiba will fly to the ISS under the Rakia banner and the maxim, there is no dream beyond reach. During his time on the ISS, Stiba will facilitate scientific experiments, educational outreach, and even artistic activities. And you know, when I was looking at their website and their social media, it's quite dull, which is very sad because they should have a ton of followers. Are they doing a good job? Probably not. Can they do better? Yeah. However, they are the next generation of the International Space Station. Space, the final frontier. When the International Space Station is going to be decommissioned, Today's launch marks the next step in the evolution of the human spaceflight story. To explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life. This is the first of a number of private astronaut missions by Axiom Space to the International Space Station, and it represents the culmination of years of hard work between both government and private entities. As John mentioned, uh, this represents the first of its kind, as four Axiom astronauts will become the first all-private astronaut crew to the International Space Station. This is the first of four missions SpaceX will launch for Axiom Space. AX-1 also marks SpaceX's sixth human spaceflight mission overall and our fifth human spaceflight mission to the orbiting laboratory. Wow. Today we are in the process of building our first two elements. We have subsystems in development. We have a full lab of life support hardware that we're putting through its bases. We are building a propulsion system. It's a lot of those details in developing a space station. You know, the first two modules are being built by our partner, Talisalania, and we're heading to what is called CDR, which is a critical design review. That really means that 90% of the design is done, and then you're ready to go to manufacturing. So HAB-1 is that first module. It has four crew quarters, it has payload accommodations, and it has all of the systems uh, wired to keep crew healthy and alive. So the plan is we'll fly four separate modules to the ISS. When we arrive with the fourth module, it'll have what we need to be independent of the ISS. The X-1 mission provides us the opportunity to refine our flight techniques and operations concepts in order to meet the higher complexity of operating a space station in orbit. That moment where we're captured and birthed to the International Space Station will be a moment that defines how we move forward uh, as a species in low Earth orbit. Axiom Station is going to allow humanity to be a multi-planet species. This Axiom mission adds to a story that began in 2003. In Israel, Eitan Stiba is not just becoming the second Israeli astronaut in the country's history, but he is following on the legacy of Ilan Ramon. For Israel, this is a mission of peace and hope, and they have called this mission Rakia, which is a word that means the heavens or firmament in English. So to tell us a little bit more about the Rakia mission, we send you now to our good friends in Tel Aviv, Israel. For the first time in 19 years, and for only the second time in our nation's history, one of our own will be in space again. 
Every part of this Rakia mission has been developed in Israel with the goal to be impactful and innovative. For an Israeli child, this will be the first time to hear Hebrew lessons and demonstrations on the ISS. For Israeli scientists, artists, and educators, this will be a rare opportunity to perform their works in the unique microgravity environment with a home-trained astronaut. Just in case you find yourself leading an inspiring mission to space, here's a packing list that might help. You start with the basics. Ever-expanding dreams. Respect for borders mixed with utter disregard for them. Dozens of wishes. A poem. Your favorite soundtrack. Your biggest hopes. A hunger for miracles. Endless amounts of innovations, like brainwave measuring device, groundbreaking blood test through capillaries, and laughing in the face of lenses manufacturing capabilities. A new outlook on storms. An entire platform that pushes science forward. Because there is no I in space. Dreams to be realized. Tips from friends who showed you the way. Two ounces of inspiration. Your inner child. Because the one thing that's more important than to travel light is to make sure travel enlightens an entire generation. Thousands of schools that joined the mission your nation's brightest, young, inquisitive minds. A sense of humor. A prayer, just in case. A few words of wisdom. 306,757, to be exact. And another four, to be exact. Amazing partners, local and foreign. And a big thank you to those who made it possible or just a big.